Yeah. Flashing red. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So where are we, Len? Len Ridden. And we're in the car today. Fee. Fee. Yeah, short for Fiesta. Yeah, nice car. Yeah, and unfortunately it's got the wrong registration on. It should be LK63, shouldn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah, so we're in Glenridding and um, you'll recognise this from our last uh, walkabout early this year. I can't remember when it was. Was it um, March perhaps? Or? Possibly. Yeah. Two or three months ago, anyway. Yeah, it was before Easter. Yeah. And uh, I mean, this will be interesting to see the uh, the progress made. Since our last visit. So look at the uh, the back. Oh. Can't imagine it, can you? No. Oh. For this ground with uh, people taking their dogs on it before they set off. Yeah. Flood wall work start date 29th of March, duration 22 weeks. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. Reducing your flood risk. Think you'll knock that down? I don't know. It's a shame if it is. Well, I think it might be beyond repair, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it might be. So bike, you know, the wall, it might not know how undermined it were. Yeah. I've got the toilets back up and running. Mm. That's good. Yeah. That's not so good. No, I think Oh yeah, wow. Oh, yeah. Nice, yeah. Isn't it? yeah, it is. And they'll face it, make it look nice. Yeah. Wow. It's been having rain, haven't it? So. Well, we'll be used to that. We'll have to be used to that here. Yeah. The amount of yeah. rainfall that they'll get here. Yeah. Yeah, it needs uh, sorting, does that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Oh my word. Storm Desmond, it's Glen Ridden. Following a month of heavy rainfall, the full force of Storm Desmond hit Glen Ridden on the afternoon of Saturday 5th of December 2015. Frantic efforts to protect homes and businesses proved fruitless as the full devastating impact of the storm hit. Glen Ridden, Beck, burst its banks in the village in the early evening and the next morning was flowing freely down Eagle Lane across the car park and right through the Glen Ridden Hotel bringing with it thousands of tons of silt, gravel and stone carried down the fells from landslips all the way up to Helvellyn. The village was now cut off. The late road was impassable and the road between Lemmerdine and Patterdale was under water for three days. My God. Incredible, yeah. isn't it? If you fell in that, you'd be dead, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow, look. The aftermath. The dale was effectively cut off for three days with no phone lines, intermittent power and no mains water. The community rallied together and aided by the heroic efforts of local contractors from Beckside Construction and O'Malley's set about clearing out the Becks and cleaning up the properties and businesses which have been inundated. Over 20,000 tonnes of gravel and stone was removed from Glenred in Beck, just from the village hall to the lake shore. 20,000 tonnes! This was dropped on Jenkins Field, despite further setbacks, including another significant flood on the evening of Wednesday 9th of December, so what, four days after? The recovery continues throughout December into January and is still ongoing. Good. You can get, yeah. Take a thing every can't you? Mm. There you go. Look at that. It wasn't just Glen Ridding that was ravaged by Stone Desmond. In Patterdale, Grisdale Beck burst its banks, causing landslips up the valley, ripping up the road outside Patterdale Hall Estate and flooding all the properties of, at Grisdale Bridge. Gold Rill Bridge was underwater and landslips on place fell, narrowly avoided crushing houses, instead leaving a trail of mud and debris and stone on the roads to Rooking. Further up the dale there was a landslide at Noran Bank which blocked the main road. The Beck Bank was washed out at Lane Foot in Deep Deepdale and in Harpsop, the road was a, again underwater by Cowbridge with devastation to the walls and fields from Kirkstone down. Yeah. Well, they put things in place to stop it happening again. Start maintaining it. You are? So that's what they need to do. It is, yeah. No, oh, no. Recovery. Wow. Can you look at that first picture? Oh. With the... Um, yeah. Cat... Yeah. Cat um, And all it's all dry. Yeah. Cars are there now. Yeah. We would like to thank everyone who has helped with our recovery to date from the masses of volunteers who help shovel the silt and stone out of our homes and businesses to the many people who have donated supplies and money to assist in rebuilding the dale. Of course you got lots of help from uh, foreign countries. <laughs> the work continues in conjunction with the Environment Agency, Bexide Construction, the Lake District National Park, the National Trust and most importantly 
with the community itself and the many volunteers who continue to help. If you like more information or would like to see how you can help, please, then please visit our website at www.parishfloodgroup.org. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Mm. Wow, look at them stones there. Eh? Yeah. Right, right. yeah, which one would you like though? Oh, all right. You would. I wasn't that. Good. Nice, isn't it? It's about well, it was 19 degrees when we were coming down Coastal, mm -hmm. so it's probably about 17, 18 yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look there, are they? Have you got to go across the road? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can always walk to Passadale. It's not that far. You want to? Yeah, be a nice walk, wouldn't it? Yeah. I know road, footpath takes you above road, doesn't it? I think so. I've seen people walking above, you know. Mm. So it'll be a nice little walk. <laughs> Put my uh, boots on. No, come on. Yeah. Well. Good grade. 341.44 millimeters. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, plenty of time though. Oh, yeah. So so enjoy the walk. That's the trouble you see. This is where um, they should shouldn't penalise you for parking. No. Because if you left there and parked somewhere else, yeah. you get charged again. I know. Yeah. 
and should uh, you should have a, a county wide um yeah. thing, you know. Yeah, do you want to yeah, cross over? Yeah. <laughs> you are? Ah I'm sure you can cross over again when thing you Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Look at them stones there. Oh my god. That's one thing they're not short of around here. Sounds nice, isn't it? Well, Reading are. Yeah, that's the path. Oh, up there. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful spot, isn't it? Crossing? Mm. Yeah. I'm busting. Yeah. You can be the uh, crap spotter. <laughs> Terrible. Smells nice. Yeah. Fish and chips. Yeah. Pity me. Mickey Mouse microphone doesn't pick Smell. smells up. Yeah. Hey, look. Look at that lane. Oh. Hey. Nice. Oh, no, no. It is, yeah. For king and country, this stone was erected in memory of the men of this parish who fell in the Great War of 1914-1918. Unless we forget. We remember also some more names who gave their lives in the Second World War, 39 to 45. Yeah. Looks nice, we've done that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's been cleaned up, hasn't it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. 
Yeah. For those so-called angry young people, they need to remember that. Yeah. Lest we forget. Yeah. I don't know what they'll be angry for, but anyway, there we are. Mm. Yes, well, it's typical, isn't it? Yeah, it's about right. Hello! Say one place we need to go. We need to go to yeah. when we uh, go to the Isle of Man. Okay. The chasms near Craig Niche. Oh yeah. 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 We didn't go last time. No, last didn't. year. Yeah, <coughs> Me. We didn't have time, did we? No. <laughs> to, you know, we managed to fit so much in. Yeah. Eh? The videos prove that. Aye. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's dark up there, isn't it? Aren't you right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Oh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey. There's an out bunny. He won't though. I said he was missing it. Oh, driving at that speed? Yeah. I know. It's only nice though, isn't it? Oh, it is <laughs> well, the view. Yeah, definitely. Hey, look at sunny trees. Up. It's a lovely day. It's just nice, isn't it? Do you want one of those um, trunks? No, I've got one. You don't want another? No. Mm. When you're on it, no. 
<coughs> that's true. Yeah. <coughs> it was just, just nice coming over, weren't it? Yeah. And so Saturday's definitely the better day yeah. to uh, come up here. Yeah. Well, Steve, at um, 20 past two, just leaving, um, you'll be not that far off, a couple of hours, and uh, I've just read your message, you just had your Subway meal at um, Motorway Services, you'll be glad to get here, I'm sure, to paradise, because this is what it is. And of course, when you're watching this video, we'll have enjoyed the weekend. Crossing over. Hi. Yeah, a few showers. For business, that's nice. Yeah. Patterdale. Ah. Now you can get your thermometer. <laughs> And what we mean by that, folks, is that back in 1984, when Lynn and me were up here on our Honda 200, I bought Lynn a thermometer and uh, a digital thermometer, weren't it? <coughs> Did you? Oh, you bought me a digital one. Ah, and. Uh, And as you just said, Lynn bought me a digital one. So that was 32 years ago. Yeah. And uh, I'll, in I'll include some photographs of uh, Patterdale of that time. Oh yeah. station though. Yeah. Yeah. Nice See you want to that would you? They've done all that with slate. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Well 
Oh wow. Look at that. Huh? Oh, it's just, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? is a fence. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Lynn, yeah. to walk off our lunch, you fancy? Oh. Huh. I'll watch. Well, I mean, if Stuart's done 85 miles down in Yorkshire, well, he's set the bar. I'm going to have to, going to have to uh, match his uh, his feet. <laughs> 